Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So today we have our very first fall video and it is a fall thrift with me. And I'm just so excited. I've already been thrifting. This is afterwards now and I just got so many nice pieces. I did get a lot of the stuff off of my like fall thrift list that I wanted. So I'm really happy about that. And I can't wait to show you guys everything that I got in the haul, but let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, starting off with an empty cart in hopes of filling it up. I started off in the shirt section. Really, really like this one, but it had definitely seen its better days. So decided to pass. This was super cute too, but it almost looked like it was kind of turned, like it originally might've been white and just turned over time. Loved this one as well, but it was just a little bit big and I thought it might look um, a little bit funny on. This, I know somebody out there would rock this. I don't even know, is this camouflage? Is it cheetah? Is it leopard? I don't know. <laughs> this flannel, amazing, but that price, no thank you. This one on the other hand, you know I snatched it up. Look at this, amazing. I love this shirt, but the price, like what's going on there? I don't know. This was different. I honestly, I wasn't entirely sure if I liked it or not. So ultimately I decided to leave that behind. Um, this one on the other hand though, I love me a good button up and the price, yes ma'am. This was really cute too. And it's just a simple, basic, really light pink long sleeve. Um, and watching this back now, I'm kind of regretting not picking it up. <laughs> Here we have just a super simple Zara long sleeve, but I felt like I just really didn't need it. This was so cute. I love a crew neck like this, but it had some damage on it, so I left it behind. I love this sweater. I'm just so drawn to like color schemes like this. I really, really like this one. I actually had it in my cart for a bit, but it did have some damage on it and some like really bad pilling, so I put it back. Um, this was a Michael Kors little long sleeve sweater, but I really didn't need it. Oh my God, I was so sad about this one. How cute is this sweater with the flowers on it, but had way too much damage to actually get it. Love me a good basic, Old Navy, great price. And then I saw the exact same one in green, so you know i had to snatch it up <laughs> also i am combining salvation army clips with valley village i just thought it would work better that way love this sweater didn't love the price okay and the men's t-shirt section was stacked today i could barely move the shirts but i just wasn't having much luck there i don't know about anybody else but i just get a little bit overwhelmed when it comes to jeans i just there's so much to look through i ended up picking these up but i i just decided i really didn't need them and this is my cart so far. We're looking pretty good. Okay, one of my favorite spots at the thrift store, the bag section. This one can also kind of be overwhelming as well. Um, I normally will just kind of look for um, like a color I want or um, the quality of a bag. If you just feel around, you can really tell what's a good quality bag and what isn't. So I don't typically go through every single bag, but I just wanted to show you guys what was here. This purse I actually really, really liked, and it was a decent price as well, but I just, I kind of felt like it was giving a little bit too much of a summer vibe for me. This one, so nice as well, really good quality, you could tell, but that price, no thank you. Again, this one kind of the same thing as the first bag, just too much of a summer vibe. Then I found this purse, it's from The Sack, really great brand, I just wasn't a big fan of the design of this one. Okay, shoe time. I know some people absolutely rock these loafers. They're just not my personal style, but I thought this was a pretty great price. Then I saw these, but they were way too beat up, but I love these. Such a cute little kitten heel. These again, so cute. Unfortunately, not my size. And these ones, oh my goodness. Why does every cute shoe have to be like so damaged? I need to know. <laughs> and these ones, for some reason, the color's not picking up that great on camera, but they were so pretty. Okay, definitely not giving fall vibes exactly, but I still had to show them anyways because I thought they were so pretty. And again, same thing with these guys here, so cute. My first thought when I saw these shoes, they would be the perfect Barbie shoe. Then I found these bad boys, I was so excited. I am obsessed with these. Okay, and for decor, I ended up not really filming much of it, but I saw this cat pillow, had to record it. And this picnic basket, I love, so cute. So I think today I'm actually gonna start off with like shoes and accessories first. I normally do clothing, but I only picked up a pair of shoes and then one bag. So let's just get that out of the way first. And these are the shoes that I picked up right here. 
These are amazing. They're exactly what I was looking for. These really remind me of the Fry Boots. I think that's how you pronounce the brand. I'm not exactly sure. If I'm wrong, please correct me. But they really remind me of those, like almost exactly. Um, the only big difference would be up here, but this part, exactly like them. And those are so expensive. And the best thing about these, you guys, I only paid around $8, which I think is insane. When it comes to our thrift stores in Canada, I find the pricing can be a little high when it comes to shoes and like um, jackets and stuff like that. I find American thrift stores have definitely better prices. So when it comes to shoes at our thrift stores, to get a pair for $8 is honestly a steal. And they're in really good condition as well. There's like a few like minor, like a little bit of the fabric um, coming off here, but I can just snip that off. But other than that, I don't really see anything wrong with them. I don't have them cleaned up yet, but I am just so excited about these. That is what it looks like up close there. I love the buckle detail here. That's like my favorite part, honestly. And yeah, I cannot wait to wear these. I'm really happy about this find. I was on the hunt for a nice pair of boots for fall and I definitely found them. And I think these are just gonna look really nice with maybe like a skirt or a dress or something like that. So yeah, love these. Okay, next, the bag that I got, this one, I'm obsessed with this one was also on my fall little thrift list and I just can't believe I found it exactly what I wanted so I have been on the hunt for the longest time to find a really nice like fringe bag and I found one like look at this this is so gorgeous it is a like crossbody style and then the fringe at the bottom oh my god I can't get over that and it does have this like little tassel bit at the um, other side here. I'm not sure if I'm going to take that off or not or leave it on. I'm not really sure, but I just, I love this bag. I really wanted something with fringe on it for fall. I've been kind of obsessed with fringe lately. I'm not sure why. It just kind of gives me like Western vibes and I really, really like it. So it was $5.99, but I ended up getting 20% off of this, which I thought was such a great deal. And like I said, I am just in love with this. Let me go ahead and show you the inside. It looks like there. I just can't wait to wear this. I love it so much. Honestly, now I kind of want to get one in a brown color as well, but so pretty. Okay, next let's get into the clothing. I think I want to start off with probably one of my favorites, and it's this gorgeous striped shirt. This really nice long sleeve. I think this shrunk a little bit in the wash, honestly, because I did already wash everything. I don't know. I just I feel like it looks a little bit smaller now, but that's okay. But I am just obsessed with this shirt. I'm going to show you guys the material up close. So I don't know if you guys can tell that well, but it's almost like a like sheer knit material. It's so, so pretty. I just think this is perfect. I love blue and white together. I just think they look so nice. And I've been loving shirts like this lately tucked into a skirt with a belt. It just looks so good together. So <laughs> as soon as I saw that, I was like, definitely picking this up. I love a good like thin long sleeve for the fall because our Septembers are still pretty warm. So a big old thick sweater right now <laughs> definitely is way too much, but something like this definitely will work. So love that. And it was only, I think I paid about $3.99 for this, but I did end up getting 20% off of everything that I show. Okay, again, this is another favorite of mine and honestly, mostly because of the material. It is the softest material I've ever felt. And obviously it is this beautiful black and white flannel. I, I mean, obviously, you need a couple flannels when it comes to fall. You just, they're a staple, you know what I mean? And I just love the color scheme on this. I love how neutral it is. But like I was saying, this fabric is amazing. It's so like soft and stretchy. I feel like there's just so much that you can actually do when it comes to a flannel. I really like these layered over top of like a simple romper. I think it looks really, really good. Um, or even just a basic tank top, some shorts. Um, those boots that might be a nice look <laughs> this one is originally from streetwear society which i think is either like sirens or urban planet and i forgot to mention the other one was originally from blue notes but yeah i just was over the moon with this fine and i believe this one was 4.99 i never really know how to describe my own style whenever somebody asks i'm like i don't know but i feel like my style is very simple basic boho a little bit of like western vibes in there as well i i don't know i don't really know how to describe it but i've been loving the whole like bohemian knit vest lately oh my goodness one of these tucked into a skirt 
so good. This one is amazing, you guys. The color on this, it's such a gorgeous kind of like warm um, camel or like a beige color. I just love it. And then obviously the actual like design of it is so, so pretty. In my last video, if you guys remember, I got another one of these as well, but that one was like nowhere near as thick as this one is. This one definitely feels a lot better quality. Now, I didn't dry this one. I just washed it in the washer like... I did with all these clothes, but I didn't actually put it in the dryer just because I figured that might really tear it apart, you know what I mean? Um, but as far as I can tell, I don't think it ripped at all. Stuff like this is hard to wash, I will say that. Like, if you do have the patience, I would say hand wash this, but I don't, so I just throw everything in the wash. But yeah, stuff like this definitely can be a little bit difficult to wash, but I'm telling you guys right now, me and these little, like, crochet knit vests, I love them. And this was also $3.99, or no, $2.99 or $3.99, one of the two. You know it would not be a fall thrift of me if I didn't pick up some sweaters. I had to. So I got this gorgeous green color one. Oh my goodness, you guys know. I love me a good dark forest green. It's just so pretty, like one of the best colors ever, you know? I don't know how well you can tell on camera, but it does have a little bit of a design to it, and it is also like a tiny bit sheer as well. I feel like I say this about literally everything lately, but you just can never have enough basic sweaters, you know what I mean? I know this is gonna look really, really nice with like some light wash jeans. I always love this color paired with like a really pretty light denim. I just think it looks so good together. Um, and I don't know if I said this, but it's originally from Old Navy, and I believe this was $3.99. And as soon as I found that green sweater, I found the matching gray one and it's literally the exact same sweater just in a different color um, again old navy and as you guys can see it has again that really nice design on it just a really nice material as well gray will always be a go-to classic color for me i just feel like you can't go wrong with it goes with literally anything and i just i don't know i think this is so cute i think i like this one actually better than the green one for some reason this one is also in a bigger size so this is a large so it kind of fits a little bit better you know more oversized and i'm picturing this one with again some jeans but some uggs with this oh my goodness i cannot wait to break out the uggs <laughs> right i love a good just like basic thin button-up so i picked up this gorgeous yellow one i don't have this color in a button-up so i figured i'd add it to my collection but this one is just really nice and light and airy and like i said it's kind of perfect for this time right now whenever i'm in a rush and i want to look Put together but I don't want to spend a lot of time on the outfit. One of my good like just go-to outfits will be a button-up, a basic shirt underneath, and then either some like distressed shorts or a pair of jeans and there you go. So yeah, I do like having a few of these in my closet just to choose from. This one is originally from H&M, and I believe this one was $4.99. Okay, and last but not least for clothing, obviously I cannot go to the thrift store and not check out the men's t-shirts. It's one of my favorite, favorite spots to get just my basic graphic tees. Um, and there was a lot to choose from. The rack was just completely stacked together like it was full. But surprisingly, I really wasn't finding much. And the prices were kind of extremely high for some reason. Like, I'm not paying $10 for you know, an oversized graphic t-shirt, not doing it. Not at the thrift store anyways. But with that being said, I did find this one right here. And I just really liked the little saying on it here. It's not really a saying, but <laughs> it just says Vancouver and then it has some anchors. And I just thought it was really cute. Now, unfortunately, I realized this when I got home, but it does have a little stain at the bottom right here. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but it's a little like yellow stain right there. I did try to get it out when I washed everything, but it just, it won't come out. Now I am going to go ahead and cut the neckline on this. So what I think I might do too is cut the bottom and kind of make it like a cropped t-shirt just to get rid of that stain, you know what I mean? But yeah, I was so disappointed when I realized it had a stain. Normally I'm pretty good at like spotting that stuff in store before I actually buy it, but I feel like sometimes the lighting in stores can be a little bit deceiving. But yeah, no big deal. Like I said, I can probably just go ahead, cut it, and have a cute little off-the-shoulder cropped little graphic tee. So yeah, I love this. It's a really nice thick material as well. And if I had to guess, I would say this one is vintage because just look at that tag. I love when tags look like this. And this one was $2.99. All right, and my last little pickups of the day are just little decor pieces or like homeware. And I'm gonna start off with this little planter or little basket right here. I am a sucker when it comes to stuff like this. I <laughs> have thrifted so many in the past and I just can't help myself when I see one, I gotta get it. 
and I have the perfect plant to put inside this. I actually have one right there that almost looks the exact same, but I just love these. I think they're so beautiful. This one was $3.49, but again, I did get a discount on that, so I believe it was like just under three bucks. And I'm gonna show you guys up close what it looks like. I just love that. Just picture a plant in that, like how pretty is that gonna be? I love me a good little wicker rattan basket. And this piece honestly looks exactly the same pretty much and it's this super cute little, it's not a mug, it's kind of like a mug holder. Like this glass didn't come with it, it was just this and then I put that inside of it. I don't know, I, I love this. I think it's so neat and different and it looks really nice just kind of sitting on like your counter or your um, coffee maker or something like that, just so cute. I actually didn't even find this, my mom did. She was the one that scouted this out and I'm like, I am glad you found that because it is honestly so pretty. Um, and I believe this was like a dollar or dollar ninety nine, something like that. But I just thought it was a really kind of unique, different kind of piece, and I'm obsessed with it. All right, you guys. So that was actually everything in my little fall thrift with me slash thrift haul. I am just over the moon about everything that I got. I love it, and there's definitely going to be some more fall thrifting videos very, very soon. I love thrifting when it's fall time. It's just I feel like it's ten times better. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big like and subscribe because I would really appreciate that. Also, if you want to keep up with me outside of YouTube, I do have TikTok and Instagram and I'll go ahead and link those down below. And I also do have Poshmark and eBay and those will also be listed down there as well. I hope you guys have a great day. Definitely stay tuned for some more fall thrift with me videos and just thrifting videos in general. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.